We praise you, Lord God, for who you are, the Almighty Father of creation, the one who holds and cares for us in the palm of your hand. We thank you for sending Jesus into this world to show us how to live and love one another. Thank you that through his death and resurrection, we can have a relationship with you and live forever in your kingdom. We ask, Lord, for healing and comfort for those who are sick from whatever illness or disease, for access to health care, medicines and treatment, for wisdom, skill, compassion and knowledge for all those caring for the sick in this country and around the world. We thank you for the many thousands of people working diligently to help and support others in need whether they be paid or volunteers, working in healthcare or supermarkets, delivering the mail or essential supplies, teachers or the police, cleaners or chefs. Please protect them and keep them safe. We think of friends and family around the world doing this in countries with less resources than we have here in Tasmania. We pray for those who have found these last few months particularly hard, especially those we know who have been isolated from friends and family, or managing children at home, or who have been furloughed from work. We pray that the easing of restrictions will provide fresh hope and new opportunity for re-establishing friendships, structure and employment. We pray for leaders around the world to work together with humility, wisdom and compassion and confidence as they make decisions about enabling people to travel safely, economic strategies to help those in financial difficulties and plans to ensure public health safety. We thank you for our ministry team here and their families. Thank you for the way they have worked tirelessly to keep us connected as a church family, continuing to point us to Jesus and teaching us your word and for the care and kindness they have shown in many unseen ways. May you continue to sustain and energise them. May they draw on your strength and grace in the weeks and months ahead. We pray for clarity and careful thinking as they work out how we will be able to meet again in church. Thank you that despite not being able to meet face to face, we have been reminded that nothing can stop your word going out into the world and that you have sustained thousands of Christians over the years who have been isolated, persecuted or in prison and we have hope in you. May we be salt and light in our families, neighbourhoods, workplaces and wider community. Show us how we can best serve you and those around us with the gifts you have given us. We pray that the church here in Tasmania and around the world will be a channel of love and blessing as we all seek to be and make disciples of Jesus. We pray all these things in your Son's name. Amen.